Okay, so this is the uh, sewer video on Elsie, and I'm in the backyard at the big uh, clean out by the deck, and um, I only got about 15 feet in, and I hit a big wad of roots, and this, uh, you can see that there, and the water is just barely getting under there. What you're looking at there is that's a big water roots with dirt mixed in with it, which is typically how it looks. And that's about 98% blocked there. So this sewer um, needs to be hydro jetted. I really can't tell you the full condition of the sewer because I can't see. I mean, what happens is the, the roots grow in at the joints usually because uh, this old clay pipe that they used to use was like a tongue and groove system and they would just click the pipe together and then bury it and the, the joints were not sealed so a little bit of water leaks out of those joints see I'm not able to push past there so water leaks out of those joints and then the trees are attracted to that moisture that leaks out so you've got three big maple trees in the backyard and maples are famous for this the roots get in the sewer line. So it might just be that the roots are coming in at the joint or it may have cracked the pipe and it might be a bigger problem, but I don't know because I can't see. So what has to be done is you got to hydrojet the sewer and then re-inspect it with a camera again. So the guy that hydrojets will have his own camera so he could do all of that for you. Because if you just snake this out, you know, my camera head is just laying basically in the bottom of the sewer line, right? So that the snake is the same way. So they can put a bigger cutter head on it, but it doesn't really get all the roots out of the top because the, the roots are at the top. My camera head is laying on the bottom, and the roots are coming in from the top, which is super common. That's not going to go by there. So... Uh, this has to be uh, hydrojetted out so you can see. So if you just snake it out is what I'm trying to say. You can't really see what the condition of the top of the sewer line is. It could be cracked wide open or it might just be coming in from the joint. Because once the, the roots get in there, they tend to grow inside the pipe. You know, so that it'll grow, you know, diagonally. I mean, you know, horizontally or vertically, whatever. And, you know, through the pipe it grows whichever way the pipe is going, that's the way it grows. So anyway, that's a pretty bad block there. So I'm going to come back out now. See, and that's clay pipe. You see the edge of the clay pipe there? That's that red looking lip edge there. And it looks like there's a connection there. They call it a fern co or a rubber boot where they connected the old pipe to the new pipe. So now we're in new PVC pipe. And new PVC pipe, they glue the joints together so they don't leak, so you don't typically get those root issues. There's the clean out, the lattice on the deck. So that's where I went in at. Uh, I saw another clean out over there by the AC unit. I'm going to look in that one. If I see anything interesting, I'll make a video.